guys. I loved Last Mass Monday. I love seasonal things. Uh, I look forward to like decorating every year and seasonal activities. Like right now, I can't wait to get tickets to go see the holiday light show with Joe and build a gingerbread house. And to me, that's like what's so nice about the seasons is they just each have their own traditions. And it's usually things you can only do that time of year. Anyway, that was just to say that I decided to do another Thanksgiving edition, Mask Monday. This one is going to be uh, Would You Rather. I actually watched Kim's Happy Place. She did this today with Eric Con Erica Conjure. So I just wrote down the questions as I watched her video. So I got to go watch Erica's, but it's already getting late. So I wanted to film this quickly. And number one is eat turkey every meal for a week or wear a turkey costume to work for a week. And since, you know, I'm supposed to be a professional, um, I'll go with eat turkey every meal for a week. That will be a little bit of a struggle, but I guess I can change it up. You know, one day it can be in a sandwich, another day it can be shredded up in a quesadilla. We get it done. Number two, wash up with mashed potatoes or take a bath in gravy. And I'm going to say the same answer as Kim and take a bath in gravy because then you can always shower off afterwards. Mm. And gravy can get warm, so it's like a nice warm bath, I guess. <laughs> at least, I guess. <laughs> Number three, eat all Thanksgiving's, eat all of Thanksgiving meal with no utensils or wear your swimsuit at the table. So I know she said right away, oh, I would eat with no utensils. So here's my answer, and it's, if it's at my parents' house, me and Joe split it. We do like half at my parents, half at his aunt's. I would probably just wear the swimsuit. Uh, my swimsuit covers most of my body anyway. I usually wear a swim dress. Um, and I'm totally confident in that and have no issues. And this way I can enjoy my meal with utensils. But for Joe's family house, I would feel really awkward doing that. So I would definitely um, eat with no utensils. Although that's kind of embarrassing too. But I guess less embarrassing. Or yeah, anyway, that's my answer. Um, number four, right? Yes. Leave the Thanksgiving Day Parade or have Thanksgiving with a celebrity. To me, that's an obvious answer. I would have Thanksgiving with a celebrity for sure. The, leading a parade song seems like a lot of work. Number five, eat with an extended large group of family and friends or just immediate family and a few friends. And I love big gatherings. And I think that's why I love going to Joe's aunt's house. My mom, it's always just us, which don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. My mom does a family dinner every other Sunday where my brother and his girlfriend go and their son. And I always look forward to it. Um, but, you know, it's a it's a special occasion. So it should be something extra. So instead of it just being like the usual Sunday dinner, should be a big group of people. And Joe's uh, aunt goes all out. They literally invite the entire side of Joe's family. There will literally be like 30 to 40 people there. We stay till midnight. People bring games. We play cards. Um... I learned after my first year to bring pajamas because everyone changed into their sweats and PJs and were comfortable. And I was in an uncomfortable dress and stockings the whole night. And they tried getting me a pair of pajamas. But when you're plus size, you know, you don't fit in the standard sizes. And his aunt, you know, she's a little bigger too. So they tried and the pants were too tight. So, uh, yeah, I love that. So I'd much rather have like a big shindig with a bunch of family and friends for since it is a special occasion. This mask is not sticking to my face today. Number six, best Thanksgiving you've ever had, like you could ever imagine, or with strangers, or <coughs> an okay dinner with family or friends. And just like my answer previously, I would rather have the okay dinner. Because to me, it's about the company. It's not about the food. Um, Number seven, have Thanksgiving dinner with three of your favorite athletes or three of your favorite singers. That one's obvious to me, too, because I just don't really... I'm not into sports. <laughs> so it would be three of my favorite singers. But I know people that would definitely say athlete. So it all depends on what you're into. Number eight, cook the whole meal or wash the dishes. And I struggle with this one. Because I hate dishes, but I'm also not a huge fan of cooking. And cooking stresses me out for others. Like, when it's just me and Joe, I'm like, whatever. But when it's for everybody, I'm like, oh my God, what if it comes out bad? What if they don't like the taste? What if I use too much of this, too, a little of that? So that's a, that's a lot of stress. So I'm almost like, would I rather clean the dishes? So yeah, I don't think this is going to be most people's answers, but I think I would rather wash it as much as I despise the dishes. I think that would cause me less stress. Uh, number nine, eat only cranberry sauce for the day or just gravy for the day. 
I love cranberry sauce, so I have no issue with that. Uh, gravy is a drink. Like, you know, if, you know, if you consume it, it's more of a beverage than a meal. So I would be hungry, and I couldn't just eat like that. Cranberry sauce at least has some, you know, little sustenance to it. Um, number 10, eat Thanksgiving at 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. My family does do an early Thanksgiving compared to most. We usually start at dinner around 1.00. Uh, and like I said, it goes all, I usually go to my mom's for one, and then we usually leave my mom's around like four, five, and then we head to Joe's, uh, and we're there like all night. So I would rather have the 10 a.m. so I can truly enjoy the day versus 10 p.m. where it's kind of like, okay, eat in time for bed. Um, and it's not good to eat that much before bed, that is for sure. Number 11, write a five paragraph essay of what you're thankful for or have to solve a page of Thanksgiving themed word problems. When I saw Kim read that, and I know she actually chose the one I'm not going to pick. She said she'd rather do the five-paragraph essay. That sounds like work to me. The Thanksgiving-themed word problems sounds kind of fun. You know, um, is it, I don't know. Because I'm like, is it math or is it like riddles? Because I feel like doing some Thanksgiving-themed riddles, like what your family would be kind of fun. So that's what I would pick. Number 12, eat pumpkin pie made with salt or mashed potatoes with lumps. I hate pumpkin pie. I would hate it even more if it's made with salt. So I'd rather have the mashed potatoes with lumps. You know, my mashed potatoes aren't always 100% smooth. Um, I usually get mine loaded with like bacon uh, and cheese anyway. So, you know, might not have a, uh, might not be because of the bacon, but I'm used to a little bit of lump, you know, so I'd be fine. So that's what I would do. Number 13, stay home or go out of town. I would definitely rather stay home. Number 14, watch football or play football. I would rather do neither, but if I had to pick, it would be watch football. Who wants to, like, run around and play football after, with a full belly now? Number 15, can't talk talk or no dessert. Um, and then I know she was like, oh, but that's the whole point. You're around your family. You want to talk. I definitely agree with that. But I look forward to dessert. Uh, I am definitely a sweets person. I prefer the desserts more than the meals, to be honest. So maybe it depends. If it's at my family house, definitely would I would skip dessert. I obviously want to talk to my family and friends. If it's at like Joe's family house, not that I don't love them and don't want to talk to them, I definitely do. But I could see myself sitting on the back burner letting everyone else have the conversation and eating a little bit of dessert. So it depends where I am. Number 16, never celebrate Thanksgiving again or never celebrate Valentine's Day again. I feel like both of these aren't really that big of a deal. I know a lot of people don't really celebrate Thanksgiving because of everything that it stands for now is really different from what it stood for back then you know like christopher columbus now it's indigenous people day um to me i just think of thanksgiving as a nice meal with friends and it's like valentine's day i just think of it as a day to celebrate me and joe's love but we can do that any day um so if i had to pick it would be never celebrate valentine's day again but i could live without either honestly it's just special time like I, you could have a special dinner any night of the week. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a specific day, whether it's for Valentine's Day or Thanksgiving. Number 17, give a toast in front of everyone at the table or join hands around the table and each one say what they're thankful for. Uh, I don't like being the center of attention, so I would not like giving a toast. So a joining hands pot is a little much, but I feel like most American people, that's not a tradition we have in my family, but I feel like from what you see on TV shows, like that is kind of standard. People go around and say what they're thankful for for Thanksgiving. So... That's probably what I would pick. Number 18, call, cook all of the Thanksgiving meal for your family or volunteer at a homeless shelter. So I actually kind of do a combination of both. Not anymore, but back in the day, I used to volunteer my time the day before Thanksgiving and help a local organization here where I live prep the Thanksgiving dinner for the next day. So um, it was my best friend, Josh. His entire family are part of this um, organization and they spend Thanksgiving Day serving the homeless and I think that's absolutely amazing <laughs> the day before they do the prep you know they prep all the stuffing they rip up the bread they prep up there's a lot of prep for Thanksgiving you guys know that so I would go on the Wednesday and help them with the prep and sometimes I would even join them on the Thanksgiving after I had my meal with my family I would go um, if I had to pick, I would obviously like to have Thanksgiving with my family, but I think it is absolutely amazing for any people that volunteer their time to do that for others. And, and I like that I was able to do both for many years. I really don't do it anymore because I no longer talk to that friend, but that's something I could definitely consider again in the future. And for them, it is nice because it's like they are a family. They're all together serving another community, which is amazing. Uh, number 19, have to go to the farm. And pick out a live turkey or buy a frozen one. Definitely buy a frozen one. Uh, I could never sentence an animal to death. 
I've thought time and time again about becoming vegetarian because I honestly feel awful sometimes. I never go through with it. <laughs> but to actually pick my meal, I could never. If I had to hunt for my own food, I would I would force me to be vegetarian. Um, even like a fish. They say fish don't feel pain. I still can't do it. Number 20, pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice latte. I hate both. I am not a pumpkin spice girl. Um, if I could add a flavor to this pumpkin spice latte, like if I could add some mocha, I would pick the latte. If you're telling me I cannot add anything, I just have to have it the way it is, I would pick the pumpkin pie. Because uh, the pumpkin spice latte is just, at least the pumpkin pie has a little bit of sweetness. I feel like pumpkin spice lattes aren't even like, they're spicy to me. Like they're not sweet. If I'm having a coffee, I want it to be sweet. I don't enjoy it. So if I can add a mocha, we're good. If not, I'd rather just have the pumpkin pie. So that is the 20 questions. I will link Kim's Happy Place and Erica Condra down below. Definitely go check them out. I believe theirs has a giveaway. I will be doing a giveaway. I actually have to still plan my 500 subscriber giveaway. I do have a giveaway coming up soon. That's a collab video. And I have two open right now that are going to close soon. One is a mystery bundle battle with Wendy. And the other one is... I'm going crazy. Maybe that is the only one. No, I'm thinking about the one that's coming. So I have one current open one, one that's about to come, and I'm still playing my 500 subscriber giveaway. So I definitely can't do any uh, giveaways at the moment, but definitely go check theirs out and enter their giveaways. Um, if you're watching this day of, they're open right now. Like I said, I just finished watching Kim's. Now I'm going to go watch Erica's. But that is it for this video. I, If you guys want to know about a little more about me, your first time coming over here. I do Mass Mondays every Monday. Tuesday and Wednesdays are unboxings and hauls. That's primarily how my channel got started, but now I've been branching out. Thursdays is book club videos with my friend Charmaine. This week we'll be announcing the book that won that we'll be reading for December. So if you guys want to start fresh with the new book, and it is a holiday themed book, I'm really excited about it. Definitely check out our book club videos on Thursday. And then Fridays are a bonus vid day. I usually do either a vlog or decorating or a review. Just something different. Um, that's what generally when I post Monday through Friday. Not every single Friday. It depends if I have content. Um, but majority of the time I do. If not, it's always Monday through Thursday. I have tons of hauls right now because Christmas is around the corner. Definitely going to be decorated for Christmas. So I'm going to be filming that. I have tons of Christmas activities planned. I do have a vlog about to come out. Me and Joe went to this fun arcade. Um, I do have a review video for a product that I tried. I also tried HelloFresh, so I have a review for that. I have tons of stuff coming out on my channel that I'm really excited about. I've been loving branching out and doing new, thing, new, doing new things. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. Um, if any of that sounds good to you, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Like I said, I will link those other ladies down below. Definitely go check them out. And comment down below if you want to answer any of these questions. Or just let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving. I always love conversing with you guys. But that is it for this video. Be safe.